Let's talk about the RX 6650 XT. As in the title, we're going to get you guys, of course, the the predictions for hash rate on Ethereum. And this one should be easily calcula calculated because we do have memory bandwidth details, at least on the 6650 XT. Power Colors Radeon RX 6650 XT Hellhound graphics card features higher GPU and memory clocks, but also requires more power. So Power Colors Hellhound graphics card is a custom model that is expected to rock higher clocks and power input than its predecessor. The new information comes straight from Video Cards, who has managed to obtain the specs of the custom flavored card. AMD's upcoming RDNA 2 graphics card refresh is expected to feature various custom models from AIBs. While a few of these models have already leaked, we haven't really heard about the clocks or power numbers that these variants will offer. But it looks like Video Cards has, detail, has details of the Radeon RX 6650 XT Hellhound from PowerColor, a custom graphics card that will aim the mainstream GPU segment or aim at it. The Power Color RX 6650 XT Hellhound is said to feature the Navi 23 XT GPU with a total of 2048 cores packed with 32 compute units. Now, while the GPU configuration is the same across the two cards, the 6650 XT versus the 6600 XT, the internal clocks and power limits have been changed a bit. The card will come with a dual BIOS profile, one being silent mode and the other being overclock mode. With the silent profile, the Power Color 6650 XT will operate at the reference clocks of 2410 MHz game and 2635 MHz boost. The overclock mode features higher clock speeds of 2486 MHz for the game and 2689 MHz for the boost. That's a 4.4% increase in game and 3.7% increase in boost clocks compared to its predecessor. As for memory, the 8 gigabytes and 128 bit interface aren't going away, but the clock speeds are going to be boosted to 17.5 gigabits per second to deliver an effective bandwidth of 280 gigabytes per second versus the 256 gigabytes per second of the existing model. This is a 9% increase in both the core and memory clocks combined well end up providing a decent 5 to 10 percent performance improvement within games also what's interesting is that the 6650 xt won't be using the full 18 gigabit per second dies like the other two rdna 2 refresh graphics cards we might see higher clocks and memory pin speeds for the flagship devil variant but that cannot be confirmed at the moment so important thing to note is even within the 6650 xt we have confirmation of 17.5 gigabits per second, but there may be higher end models of the 60, uh, 6650 XT that gets all the way up to 18 gigabits per second. Either way, a conservative estimation is that we will see a 9% increase specifically in the memory speeds, which means that we'll see a 9% and that's effective bandwidth. And we've utilized this every time we've been dead on with the predictions. If you take the percent change in total effective bandwidth of the memory, then you can figure out what the Ethereum hash rate will be. So if we take 109% of 32 mega hash a second and calculate that out, we are at 34.88 mega hash a second. So what we're looking at is basically a lower end card that will do pretty much like 35 mega hash a second, which is pretty exciting. However, we do have to talk about the power consumption as well. So the boosted clocks also require more power and it looks like power color recommends users a 600 watt PDSU instead of a 500 watt. Remember this includes everything. It can be expected that the total board power has gone up a bit from, uh, from the 160 watts that the current card features. And that custom uh, variant will rock dual fan with dual slot cooler and custom PCB design and will come with a backplate. The card will rock a single 8-pin connector, so the TB TBP, total board power, has to remain within a 225-watt limit. How much will it be increased? They aren't saying. We don't really have a full estimation on that. You know, here it just says 160 watts question mark, but if we are really taking a look at it, we're assuming that because they are basically doing uh, an increase of 20% here, 
here, we could see basically a 20% increase in power, which could put us somewhere around 200 watts, just under 200 watts, right? So maybe like 100 and was that 192 watts or something like that, uh, or 198 watts, right? 100 and no, yeah, 100 192 watts. That's correct. So uh, we will see a higher power consumption. The question will be is how much of that power consumption is related to specifically the memory being faster and how much of that is specifically for the core being faster. And that's really going to determine, of course, how efficient these GPUs are going to be with that 35 mega hash a second prediction that we just went over. Either way, with these new GPUs, all of them cr increasing the total memory bandwidth and effective speed, etc., we are looking at some really, really fun times within mining and testing and a lot of new cards that are going to be very, very exciting. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here. Or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.